Climate change is the biggest environmental and humanitarian challenge the world faces today. And Southeast Asia is among the most vulnerable and least prepared regions to face its impacts. During World Environment Week, Greenpeace Southeast Asia will hold a 12-day photo exhibit entitled Climate Change, Challenges and Solutions in Southeast Asia. Composed of 35 photos, the exhibit's main goal is to tell the story of climate change causes, impacts, and solutions as documented by three award-winning photographers from Southeast Asia. In Indonesia, we see how climate change begins with coal. This country is one of the biggest producers and exporters of coal. When burned to generate electricity, this dirty fossil fuel releases toxic pollutants capable of destroying livelihoods, damaging agriculture and fisheries, displacing communities, and causing human illnesses. But by far, the biggest consequence is climate change, which is affecting everyone on the planet. Extreme weather events are now the new normal in the Philippines, where typhoons have become more frequent, more intense, and more deadly. Two memorable typhoons hit the country in 2009, Katsana and Parma, that ravaged major parts of the country, including Metro Manila. No one was spared from the flooding. Even the most affluent neighborhoods were greatly affected and residents were forced to evacuate their homes. But Southeast Asia is also a part of the world where solutions, particularly renewable energy, are being rapidly developed. Renewable energy is considered to be an important solution to the climate change crisis. Thailand has a high potential for generating electricity from the sun. Because of this, the Thai government supports and promotes renewable energy such as solar generation. What Southeast Asia urgently needs is an energy revolution, a sustainable path to quit dirty, dangerous fuels by transitioning to renewable energy and energy efficiency. Although ambitious, it is not impossible as renewable energy is abundant and readily available to us. Together, we need to push governments to quit dirty coal and embrace Southeast Asia's vast renewable energy potential.